Hi everyone, Dr. Simona Bartos, board certified dermatologist here. Let's talk today about Botox in the masseter muscles. Some patients do it because of pain, they have TMJ syndrome, causing them headaches, grinding of the teeth, and a lot of tension in the face. Other patients do it to slim their face, to have that V-shaped jawline, or what some patients refer to as a heart-shaped face. Our beautiful patient here is doing it mostly for medical reasons, but she will also have the awesome results of having a slim snatched jawline. So what is the TMJ? That is the temporal mandibular joint, which connects the temple with the mandible. So many patients, uh, for different reasons, find that when this joint gets inflamed, they have a lot of clicking, locking of the jaw, tension, headache, even migraines, and a lot of tension in the face. This can happen for multiple reasons. Patients that had dental work done where they had teeth extracted or teeth implanted, patients that had braces, or for whatever reason, the jaw is not closing properly. This can lead to tooth decay, gum problems, and most importantly, TMJ, which is why we are addressing the problem today. One of the big muscles that contributes to this uh, tension of the jaw is the masseter. And this is a large muscle of mastication that really hangs from the zygomatic arch to the mandible. When this muscle hypertrophies, it can cause the TMJ syndrome or the thickening square jaw that patients don't like at all. So go ahead and bite down. It's very important to go to a clinician that does this a lot so they know where to inject and where not to inject. As you may know, we have a lot of muscles in the face and these are not traditional muscles like our body where they insert from bone to bone. These are muscles that insert from skin to skin or from muscle to skin. And many of these muscles go all around the mouth, contributing to a perfect smile line, contributing to speech and other facial expressions. So we don't want to inject any of those muscles. So you may wonder how long does this result last? You start seeing results in about two weeks where the muscle starts thinning out and the grinding stops, but really the atrophy and the long-term effect lasts for four to six months. So you don't have to come in every three months as you normally do to get your Botox on the face, but really once or twice a year is sufficient for most patients. You can use any toxin. I prefer this sport, but you can definitely do Botox, ZMN or Juvo. Any toxin does the job. So for her, we're giving her about 20 units in the masseter and about four units here in the temple area because she does have headache in addition to the clenching grinding and waking up tired which is for most patients the number one sign that improves right away as soon as they get the toxin so what side effects can you expect most patients feel some burning some patients can experience uh, bruising and very rarely patients can have some asymmetry of their muscles of the face she also gets headaches from her TMJ so we'll inject about four units here in the temporal area. Some patients are afraid of the effect being permanent, but it will not be permanent. As the effect of the toxin goes away, the muscle regains its body and its strength and comes back to normal. So if you hate it, it does go away. <laughs> Do it again, clench. Look at that. That's crazy. And you look how it's twitching all the way up. Clench again. You see that? That's what we inject here and here. That's fantastic. You're a good case. Many patients also report, go ahead and clench, that they experience more fatigue when they eat something hard, like a chewy steak, but that's normal. It happens with, uh, without having the treatment done and it does go away as well. The only restriction is to not uh, bend down or work out today, otherwise she can go back to her normal activities. This is a fantastic treatment, whether you get it done to slim your lower face or to help the pain in the TMJ or your headaches it's worth doing. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you learned anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and give us a good comment. Most importantly, turn on your notifications because you don't want to miss any of my future content. Let me know if you had it done, what experience you had, if anything went wrong. I hope not. And let's see if we can help you along the way. Bye!